I think what we'll do is we'll look at Polyflex. Oh. Polyflex is designed for direct application onto your very, very flexible plastic components, yeah. your soft bumpers and so on, okay? Obviously what you want there out of a product, as well as the typical, what we talked about so far, fast, speed, easy sanding, mm -hmm. reduction amount of materials that we use. Yeah. What we also now need is we need flexibility. Yeah. Really, we need to ensure that any filler that we apply to any substrate, whether it's gonna be a, um, some plastics off a motorcycle or just like what you're doing out there with, uh, with Frankie, yep. um, you'll want flexibility and the product needs to be more flexible than that to which it's been applied. Yes, indeed. Yeah? indeed. So if you're, your bumper flexes this much, you need the body filler to be able to flex this much. Yeah, yeah, and that would work well with another product which I'm friggin' excited about, which is in the background, do you know what I mean? Which is that multi-fix yeah. stuff. Right. Also, ideal for capping off your multi-fix repairs as well. Yes. Any repair that you've done on a plastic component, as I say, so this is like component, sort of plastic finishing? welding. We're looking at finishing grade finishing material grade. here. Very similar, you'll see an appearance and application to the Easy Sand. It's that same creamy texture. Yeah. Similar sort of, let's say that the base formulation might be very, very similar. We've added a lot of ad uh, or, uh, additional ingredients such as the flex additive and to ensure that we achieve maximum adhesion as well yeah. because plastics a lot of the time we don't know what we're always working on no no that's the thing and they don't identify them like they bloody should do so here we go yeah, look at that that's you know I mean? this the, like i said but the amount of custom work i do or that we do here as a company Did you see it's just flowing right now as it is yeah, this is what i'm excited about i'm because we will we will cut bumpers like we will blend bumpers together if something we think should be there and we need something that we can use as a finishing grade to reduce our level of build regarding fiber bass. Yep. You know, and this is the answer to my prayers. Once again, as you can see, we look at the same mixing ratio. Mm -hmm. Nice four inch puddle, ribbon straight across the center. Beautiful. God, my So is that texture nice. once again, that creaminess that's viscosity yeah. is similar to the easy sand. And yeah, as you rightly said, this is a finishing product. Yeah. Obviously you're not gonna get a heavy vertical hold out of this. No. There'd be another product. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, we'll, like I said, we'll go through what each one is for uh, and what we'll it can be some examples, for, yeah, yeah, and the limits that it can achieve. And you know full well that Backstreet Customs is going to test the shit out of this stuff. And push the limits. Damn out. right, bloody damn right. I will, you know, once I've done a bumper and smoothed it off and whatnot, I have no qualms with chucking it off the top of my booth. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't crack, brilliant, job done. If it cracks, sand it down, redo it. And that is actually how I test my bumpers. <laughs> Once again, you know, I was talking to you about unmixed product. You can see it there just before I clean that off completely. Yes. We've got some trace hardened there. Probably some product here that's not adding hardened mixed into it at all. Mm -hmm. So, once again, these little tips. It's full of tips. Big difference. Difference. Absolutely. It's, it's all about. about. It's all about little tips. It's little just tips. like a wealth of knowledge. Do you know what I mean? Easier. And I am, your, I am your sponge in a non-perverse kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> Same again, small amount of product, onto the repair area. Oh, Work it Look in. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Oh, we've got a bit of, bit of doodars. But no issue for that. Look at that. I, that's it, like, you know what I mean? Once again, we're building, we're building up in layers. <laughs> No need to apply all your filler in one lump. No, and also there's no need to apply, like do a layer, let it cure, sand it down, do a layer, no, let it yeah, cure, sand it. Just build it up. You're going to be limited gradually. by what your vertical hole is going to be Big, on the product. Yeah. 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 So we'll allow that to cure. What we'll also do is here on the mixing board is we'll spread this out. And what we'll do is afterwards, once it's fully cured, we'll just look at what the limits are of its flexibility. Why not? But you can also see there without Look, it's not dragging. Too Look at the much spreaders effort. As well. it's, you know, we've got to give some credit to those spreaders, man. These spreaders are fantastic. Also available. Yep. Spray Guns Direct. As hopefully, if not soon, the putty paddles will be. The uh, sushi knives. Sushi knives. Sushi knives. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let it cure and then we'll be back. We'll have a look. Leave right, so we're back on to the Polyflex, which we've applied over the Fiber Tech on this demonstration panel. And we once again say self leveling. Yeah, that's see there. Dude, that's so Super smooth. fine finish. That's yeah. so smooth. We're going to use 
Once again, we're using 120 and 180 abrasives. We're staying away from the very, very heavy core stuff. You don't need to. You don't need it. Don't need it. Absolutely. You don't need it. And this is why, you know, so the applications we're looking at all these products in today for you are slightly different to the mainstream accident repair. Yeah. 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 I mean, the thing is, you know, I'm very, we're very, very custom. We like to take our time. We like to make sure stuff is done right. This just means, yes, we can still make sure things are done right because we're using the best product it just means we can get it done quicker yep so you know we don't have to spend so much time umming and ahhing and then for a vast amount of fast body repairs fast fit centers that i know what's what we do this stuff is, is don't look at it as in like oh wow it's that much for a cup Look at it as in what you're going to say. Well, we haven't even talked about the price of the products yet. No. Well, I, I, mate, I, I couldn't even, tell you what they are anyway, but... Yeah, well, I wouldn't even question. They're that good, I, I just don't care. Yes, price <laughs> doesn't sell these products. No, no, no way. Performance and quality. If they look at it from a price aspect, then they need to look at what they're saving in the other lines of exactly. what the repair is. What you're saving done. time, what you're yeah. saving abrasives. Yeah, yeah, and your primers. We've been using the baking same. time. We've done one, two, three, we've probably five repairs in today, or five demonstrations in. Yeah. We're using the same abrasives that we've been using all morning, so. Yeah, yeah no edge, no box. But Ron Seal does exactly what it says on the screen. <laughs> that is just effortless. Absolutely effortless. And the thing is, as well, the other problem is, I've obviously you can see, look at my hands and whatnot, I've got rheumatoid arthritis in, in all my joints, I'm pretty fucked. So when something like this comes along, which is going to make my life easier, which is not going to put so much strain on my hands, then I'm all for it. And this is doing exactly that. It is blowing me away. Every single product we try, every single thing we do with the full Evercoat range is outstanding. You know what I mean? I'm going to scream this from the rooftops. So if you look there, you can see you can still achieve that very, very fine finish that you would have associate with the easy sand yep. but Card. ah this is the flexibility properties so, once again the same product we applied earlier at yep. the same time just to show that you know it is that the product has cured we've allowed it to cure yeah we don't want anyone thinking oh yeah. so, sounds nice and crisp yeah fully cured and it's stuck like sands the absolutely beautifully <laughs> yeah it's, it's stuck to the cardboard, cardboard man. man proper mixing board eh yeah damn right right <laughs> Check Let's this have out. A look. Yeah, this is. So most body fillers about now, I yeah. think they'd fail. Yeah. But that right. is still within reason for a regular body filler uh, outside of its, its expectations. Yeah. Obviously, this is a specialized flexible filler for plastic components. Let's even get right up here on a crease line and see at what point we're going to expect a failure. I think it's going to start to fail around about now. It's going to be that final click, isn't it? There we go. It's just God, the stress and strain. There we go. Well, right. Hang on. Let so me we've zoom pretty in much that. we've doubled that up on itself there. Look at that. <laughs> but in the main, you know, flexibility. You're never going to need a body filler to flex any more than that. I and mean, what are you going to? Oh, what sort of component are you going to yeah. need to apply that sort of abuse to? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Flexible filler but with all the sanding characteristics that you'd associate with it, one of our other premium products. Nice. I'll just show you again, we get right in there close. Full crease, there we go. And I think to pinch it there to get it a crack. Yep. 